Welcome to Ready, Set, Sold with your host, Brian Vogt. Are you wanting or even thinking about selling your house but don't know where to start? Good thing you've found Ready, Set, Sold. And now, real estate broker, Brian Vogt. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Ready, Set, Sold. I'm your host, Brian Vogt. Ready, Set, Sold is a real estate program designed to give you information on the 12 steps of getting your home sold for top dollar and fast in the St. Louis Metro East market. So thank you so much for joining us. We do, we do appreciate it. Give you a little background of how this all got started. This is actually our fourth week that we've been doing this. Oh my gosh, it's almost, it's been a month. And what we're doing here is we're giving information that you can use from a book I wrote, a number one best-selling book called Ready, Set, Sold, 12 Proven Steps to Sell Your House Fast and for Top Dollar in the St. Louis Metro East Market. The reasons why I wrote the book was, really comes down to three. And, and, and the first one was, there's so much confusion out there for home sellers from watching the TV shows in the East Coast and West Coast. And it just isn't... Quite frankly, it's not in the heartland. It's not here in the St. Louis Metro East area, and the the, the markets are, are totally different. And that information just confuses so many people, so many sellers. The second reason for it is what we said before is is the confusion. I wanted to have something that was easy to read, that was was uh, not theory, not conjecture, but twelve proven steps. Because most sellers really do want to do the right thing. They really want to get their house on the market, do the right things to get the, get the top dollar for it and to have a, a fast sale. So that was the second reason. And the third reason really comes down to this. It's it's your biggest events, uh, investment. I mean, it just is. I mean, for most people, I guess there are a few exceptions, but again, we're dealing with, in most cases, 100,000, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you want to make sure that you're making the right decisions, that you're doing the right things, and make sure that you have the information that's going to get you what you want to, do, what to accomplish. So those are the reasons why I, I wrote the book. Here's the great news. I'm offering it for free. Go to readysetsold.org, not .com, readysetsold.org, not .com, and pick up the book. It's absolutely free if you're just thinking about selling your home. Maybe you had a 30 second conversation this morning over breakfast and one of the spouses mentioned that, Hey, maybe, maybe it's time to move. Maybe you're two or three years out. That's okay. Maybe you're currently on the market right now and you're not having success that you thought you was going to have. Get the book. You don't have to use me. There's no strings attached to it. It has valuable, easy to read information and proven steps. That's going to get your household. So with that, I also will give you a little bio about me. I have been in a professional realtor slash broker for over 16 years. I run a team of agents that combined with my 16 years that we have well over 30 years of experience in the real estate market. We work right now currently in the Metro East market in the O'Fallon, Shiloh, Swansea, Glen Carbon, Edwardsville, Columbia, Oralloo markets. And we're always looking, just to put a plug out there, we are a fast-growing team, but we're always looking for other agents or people that have just a, a passion for real estate like we do that want to uh, to get involved with our team. So you can go to brianvote.com, that's B-R-Y-A-N-V-O-G-T.com, and send us a quick email. We'd love to hear from you, and let's at least have a conversation. With that being said, I have lived in the Metro East all my life. For the past 20 years, I've lived in Shiloh, Illinois, which I, I love. And I also noticed this week that the temperature has risen dramatically. Well, welcome to the St. Louis Metro East market. I bring that up because the market also is improving in the, in, in the cities I mentioned, Waterloo, Columbia, Belvelles, Edwardsville, Glen Carbon. The market is still going very, very strong. So that's fantastic news. And I also bring that up is because it is hot out there. 
if you're not having success, the success that you thought that you should be having, and the answer that your agent is giving is because it's too hot, hopefully you're not getting that answer, but that's, that's what they're saying. Look, from May 15th to about September 15th, it's hot in the St. Louis Metro East market. So you got a long time to wait if that's actually the reason. You might want to might want to dig a little bit deeper what's going on. Also remember, right back where you got air conditioning in the cars and you're walking, the buyers are walking 30, 40 feet to the house, which is air conditioned. So again, there might be something else going on. So you might want to ask a, a little bit more deeper about what, what maybe you need to do. If not, you can also pick up the book, give it to your realtor and say, hey, look, this is where the problem's at. So with that, what we're going to recap a little bit from last week and what we talked about is what you should be doing to get your house updated and it comes down to really three things the first thing would be kitchens and bathrooms making sure that they're updated the second thing is painting very important and the third thing is the flooring and again understanding all those three things have to be together having one or only having two can still have still not get you the results that you're hoping for and that is to get top dollar and a fast sale with that in mind what we're going to be talking about today is actually what some people think is maybe the best topic and that is updating the right things makes you thousands updating the wrong things costs you thousands and nothing could be truer than that and that's step four in the book and here's the thing that really comes to play far too often and that is the number one thing or maybe the number one rule that as sellers you need to know is concentrate on making your updates and your improvements on your pre-existing living space do not do not add more living space that is not direction you want to go and what i'm talking specifically right now about is basements typically there's three reasons why people even consider doing or refinishing a basement before they leave number one and doesn't happen very often, but the agent says it's a good idea. If you have an agent that tells you that, you need to fire that agent and get another agent. That is not the direction you want to go. Number two, and traditionally it's the man that wanted that man cave that they always always strive for, but but didn't, but never never got around to putting in. This is not the time to start putting again monies into a basement work on that on your next house that you're buying don't go that direction but the main reason the number one reason that people usually do this and it's very simply their neighbors their neighbors have finished basements and so they don't have a finished basement so they need to run out and put in 30 40 maybe even fifty thousand dollars into their house to match what everyone else is doing wrong wrong Okay, understand this. A couple things you need to know. Number one, return on investment. And on the lower level, the appraisals work the same way with this. You don't get as enough, uh, much credit. There's also return on investment. It's not, a, it's not a one for one. Usually you're looking at maybe a third. So if you put $30,000 into a basement, you may get $10,000 back. That's a $20,000 loss. And we have seen it more than a few times where the sellers have gone out on their own, put thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in to lose forty, forty five thousand dollars on the market. I mean, this is serious money. So don't go in that direction. That is not the direction that you want to go. Again, instead start looking talking to your agent and understanding that you know what? It doesn't mean that you have to drop your price maybe that much. Every situation is different. Again, forty, fifty thousand dollars. You may have to make an adjustment of what you don't have. But the answer is not to go out and get another uh, 2,000 square foot of living space. The second part that I want to talk about, too, is this hardwood floors. Don't get hardwood floors. If your agent tells you to get hardwood floors, buy that agent. They don't know what they're talking about. Again, East Coast, West Coast, when people are making five, dollars $7,000 a month payments, usually hardwood floors, the only thing it does is it speeds up the sale. 
But again, you have, give you a perfect example, you have $10,000. You have $10,000 for hardwood floors, but your payments are only two or $3,000. Well, that's your total payments. Well, guess what? You have a $7,000 loss. Yeah, you got, you got the house sold, but it doesn't have the return on investment. So that's very important. The third thing we're going to talk about is going to be the kitchens. And we have some special guests that's going to be joining us on the next segment that you don't want to miss. And they are specialists in kitchens and bathrooms. So you're listening to Ready, Set, Soul. I'm Brian Vogt. See you in a second. 